Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to go over the cast of the science fiction horror film Cube. This video will reveal fascinating facts about some of your favorite characters in this movie. Now, before we get into the video, I've discovered that only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So, if you end up liking the video, kindly consider subscribing. It's free, and you can always change your mind. Now, enjoy the video. Maurice Dean Wint, Quentin McNeil. After acquiring a bachelor's degree in theater, Maurice Dean dedicated the first few years of his career to stage performances. He was known for his professional and highly interesting performances in classical and contemporary drama. After several stage appearances, he was able to establish himself as one of the most skilled performers at the time. He also received several awards for his works. In the 1990s, he began to transition to film as he starred in films like The Reckoning, The Swordsman, Jane Doe, and many others. He also received recurring roles in television shows like Captain Power and Tech War. He also lent his voice for several independent and short films, including The Cutest Evil Dead Girl. He has continued to bring professionalism and excellence to screens for the past few decades. Of all his performances, he's best known for his role as Quentin McNeil in the 1997 film Cube. His role in this film is that of an aggressive policeman who does everything in his power to carry out dangerous tasks. Marie Steen is also famously known for his roles in RoboCop Prime Detectives and PSI Factor. His latest movie appearance was in the 2021 paranormal drama series Surreal Estate, where he played the role of August Ripley. Nicole De Boer, Joan Levin The Canadian actress began her career in the early 1980s when she made her television debut with a role in Freddy the Freeloader's Dinner. She later played several minor and supporting roles for the most part in the 1980s until she began to get better recognition in the film industry. She was later selected for her first major television work in the CBC series 9B. Her performance led to her receiving many more major roles. She also got the opportunity to play a recurring role in the 1985 comedy show The Kids in the Hall. From the 1990s till date, she has appeared in several films like Family Pictures, Rated X, Public Domain, and Metal Tornado. Her performances have been interesting. She gained international recognition for her role as Joan Levin, a mathematics genius in the film Cube. She is also famously known for her portrayal of Esri Dax on the final episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Nicole is still very active in the film industry and continues to wow her viewers through her recurring roles in TV shows. Her most recent movie role was that of the portrayal of Suzanne in the Canadian drama film Range Roads. David Hewlett David Worth. The Canadian actor, writer, and director discovered his love for acting while he was still in high school. As a way of expressing his acting skills, he took on some roles in student films while he was still in school. Most of the films he starred in were created by the director, Vincenzo Natali. At the age of 16, David Hollett dropped out of high school to pursue a career in acting, and that was when his career officially began. From the late 1980s up until the early 1990s, he received minor roles in television shows and also appeared in low-budget horror films like The Dark Side. He was also running a website design firm while waiting for his career to take off. He was later selected for his first major role in the 1996 film Traders, and that was the beginning of his successful career. From the 1990s till date, he has established himself as a great actor, especially in the sci-fi genre. He has appeared in films like The Triangle, Full Proof, and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. He is famously known for his role as Dr. Rodney McKay in the Stargate science fiction franchise. He also directed the comedy film A Dog's Breakfast and the horror science fiction film Debug. He is currently still taking on movie projects and also volunteers as a parent sponsor of a school's tech club as a way of encouraging kids who are interested in programming and tech equipment. Andrew Miller, Kazan. Andrew Miller officially began his career at the age of 16 by appearing in several theater productions. One of his most outstanding theater roles was the role as 
Eugene Morris in the 1982 semi-autobiographical play Brighton Beach Memoirs. He later started appearing in films during the 1990s and he performed excellently on screens. His phenomenal works led to him being nominated for the 1992 Genie Award for the Best Supporting Actor. He has worked as a screenwriter and also created his own web series called Imaginary Bitches. He is famously known for his portrayal of Kazan in the film Cube and his role as Creon in Oedipus Rex. He still appears on screens occasionally. When he isn't filming, he works as a teacher at a school for children with autism and other health problems. Nikki Gudagni, Dr. Helen Holloway after receiving professional training at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London, Nikki launched her acting career. Her debut role was her portrayal of Miranda in a production of The Temptist in London. For the next few years, she worked with several theater productions in London and Canada. She later played recurring roles in the television series like A Nero Wolf Mystery, Queer as Folk, and Doc. She is famously known for her role as Helen Holloway in the film Cube. Her performances over the years have been outstanding and have led to her receiving several awards. She has also provided dramatic coaching classes for several clients over the years. She is currently 69 years old and her most recent performance was in the 2019 horror film Ready or Not, where she appeared as Helene Al Damas. Wayne Robson, Renz the 1990s movie star officially began his career in the 1970s. He was involved in stage acting for a while before he started appearing in Canadian television commercials. After several auditions, he was selected to play minor roles in films like McCabe and Mrs. Miller and Popeye. A few years later, he received his first major role to star in the 1984 film The Grey Fox. From the 1980s, his career took a major turn as he was selected to star in several prominent movies. He later appeared in films like The Incredible Hulk, Survival of the Dead, and Finders Keepers. He also voiced several characters throughout his career. Wayne Robson was famously known for his roles as Mike Hammer on the Canadian sitcom The Red Green Show. After four decades of building a successful career, Wayne's journey came to an unexpected end. While he was rehearsing for the Grapes of Wrath at the Stratford Festival, he died of a heart attack. His sudden death came as a shock to many, and he will be greatly missed. Julian Richings, Alderson Julian Richings discovered her love for acting while touring the United States with a British production company. After the tour, he made a decision to move to Canada to pursue a career in acting. After a few years of training and audition, he began, he began to get roles in television shows. Some of his initial screen appearances were in films like Thrill Seekers and Hardcore Lego. From 2001 till date, he has appeared in over 50 films and 20 television series and has continued to entertain his audience over the years. He is best known for the portrayal of death in the series Supernatural. He is now 60 years old and is still contributing greatly to the film industry through his creative works. So, which of these actors or actresses do you miss the most? Do let us know in the comments section below and check out the next video in this series.